This video is to introduce our research to develop Compton Imaging Devices at Hanyang University Radiation Engineering Laboratory. Because radiation cannot be detected by human or general devices, it is necessary to use some special devices such as radiation detectors for detecting radiation. As you may know, it makes noisy sound when radiation sources are close to the sensor. Thus, it alarms to us that there may exist some radioactive materials near this sensor. However, for area scanning, such as a room, field, or ground, we should check if a radioactive material is in a small spot one by one, which is very laborious work. Compton cameras can be used to visualize the location of radiation sources, which is not visible to naked eyes. Compton cameras are generally composed of multiple, position-sensitive gamma-ray detectors. When a gamma-ray undergoes a Compton scattering and then is completely absorbed, from this position and energy information, we can get a conical surface which contains the source location on its surface. By overlapping these conical surfaces, we can see the location of radiation sources. Compton cameras can be used in many different fields, such as to monitor the dose distribution in hardware therapy, to visualize radiation sources in nuclear facility decontamination, or to image the fluid flow in large pipes. Also, the Compton cameras can be used for security purposes, such as identification of a dirty bomb. Pinhole cameras are generally used for the same purpose. However, pinhole cameras use mechanical collimator, and therefore it cannot be used to image high-energy gamma rays. On the other hand, Compton imaging filters the effective events by electric collimation, so it provides high accuracy and high efficiency for high-energy gamma rays. Our research team is carrying out a research project to develop Compton cameras based on high-accuracy detection and imaging techniques. First, this slide shows our Monte Carlo simulation technique. The performance optimization is essential because Compton cameras has a close relation with the geometry or characteristics of detectors. With Monte Carlo simulation, we can predict the detailed behavior of radiation in detectors very accurately. This is a simulation program developed in our research team and this is a demo video for the program. The detector for Compton cameras must provide the information of interaction position. Our research team is trying to use monolithic scintillator due to its various advantages over the pixelated one, but it requires to develop a position estimating algorithm. We made the lookup table database not from laborious experiments, but from computational simulations by using our Monte Carlo simulation techniques. Also, we have image reconstruction technique based on back projection and statistical method which reconstruct the real radiation source image using data obtained by an imaging device. Especially for the same system, it was possible to improve image quality with statistical image reconstruction technique such as MLEM algorithm. Until now, various types of Compton cameras have been developed based on these techniques and we are now trying to develop better forms of imaging devices. This is the double scattering Compton camera which was developed by our research team and it has excellent imaging resolution using two of high performance semiconductor detectors as scatterers. Below is the 3D image of radiation sources obtained by this imaging device. Next is dual mode Compton camera and it has not only the high imaging resolution strength of double scattering Compton camera but also high imaging sensitivity strengths of conventional Compton camera. We can quickly check whether radiation sources exist or not in the suspicious region with high sensitivity mode of this device and precisely estimate the position of radiation sources with high resolution mode of this device. Next is multi-layer stacking Compton camera. We developed the multi-layer stacking Compton camera using small monolithic scintillator and digital silicon multiplier.
We also implemented image registration technique with visible camera so that the location of the radiation sources can be identified with the visible image. Next is Visible Gamma 1 and it uses small scintillation materials and MAPMT. We use in-house charge division circuit, amplifier, signal processing board for signal processing system of the imaging device. Also, we made a coincidence-based DAQ system based on left view program. Using the Visible Gamma 1, we can get the distribution of radioactive materials in the uranium specimen with the visual image. Next is Large Area Compton Camera System in the stage of completion. We call this Compton Camera as LACC. LACC used large area monolithic scintillator with an array of PMT to improve the performance extremely. We made multi-channel signal processing system and DAQ system based on FPGA. This is the Compton image obtained by the LACC. We can get the image within just below a few seconds for radiation sources 50 cm away from the LACC. In addition, in order to quickly determine the source locations, we also implemented image registration technique which overlay the Compton image on the RGB visual image. The overlaid image are shown here. Currently, we are in the process of completing the LACC and we are developing the first radioactivity estimation technique for the Compton camera system using LACC and Kinect. Thank you.